Tentacles and Girl Sauces. Welcome back to another episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Ultimate Construction and Scenario Series. In the last episode, we left off building our Quadra Boosters. Uh, two towers that shoot you straight up and then drop you and you kind of ping pong a couple of times and then uh, two towers that take you up and then just drop you. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of screwing people over here, aren't we? Because we don't have a pathway. And I'm sure you guys have been yelling at me. Like, ah, you need to connect your pathway. Your guests are stuck. And, yeah, I, uh, I couldn't hear you. So, I was just out here, you know, making, like, life hell for all these people. And now they're pretty pissed. They probably want to go home. I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> There's not even a bathroom out here, so... That's kind of oversight on my part. Didn't really think about that too much. So I, sh I should probably rectify the situation by uh, building building a bathroom for them. Uh, how do I want to do this? Because, you know, of course we have to have a men's room and a ladies room. We cannot just have everybody going in the same one. As much as people would like that to be the case, that is just not the way we do things. Okay, that did not work properly. Um, okay, let's get our terrain tool out and go ahead and just put that all at the, the right height for us here. Not too sure what the deal was. We'll fix that up after we place the, uh, the toilet. Okay, go ahead and turn you on, and then place another. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Oh, look at all the puke. Okay, we need a, we need a janitor. Hey, can you clean up the puke, buddy? Thanks. Appreciate it. We appreciate your assistance, sir. Here is some training so that you can be taught properly how to sweep poop up. Or not poop, but throw up. Yes, okay. Uh, then we need our terrain tool again so we can kind of fix that up. And hooray, it allows us to. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and find our... Uh, yeah our uh, colonial walls and we'll make ourselves a a bathroom and we need that to go down just a little bit excellent excellent although hmm probably doesn't need to be that big well no I, I guess it does I guess it does Yeah, that's fine. We'll just make it a little oversized, I suppose. Oh, that's right. We can't put doorways there, so... Uh, let's see if I can find a window. Well, of course I can find a window, but... Okay, so... Do I want to put a window on the first floor? seems kind of weird to put a window on the first floor, but they are on the back side, kind of like, so that's fine. Then we'll just chalk it full of windows. And just plop all these in here. Here we go. You know, it's it's kind of amazing. I'm 27 years old now. I've been playing this game ever since I was in like elementary school, you know, when it started out with Roller Coaster Tycoon, the original. And I've still not really learned how to build proper buildings in this game that actually look appropriate. <sighs> it's to me it's kind of funny. Uh, 
I think that's too many windows. So that's probably why I think it looks ridiculous. Let's go ahead and try that again uh, without a window. And yeah, for all of you who thought maybe I was a 13-year-old boy for some reason, no, I am a 27-year-old female. So I know there's a lot of people who think, she kind of has a, a voice, a, 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 a masculine sounding voice, uh, but then as, then she kind of has a young boy kind of sounding voice. I don't know, you guys like, you guys always think of the craziest shit. So uh, yeah, I don't think we're really going to add this in. Maybe we will. Yeah, why not? It kind of looks nice. It kind of looks nice. Although I can't seem to find the right one. There we have it. Okay. Let's see about um, putting on a roof. Okay. Go ahead and put that one there. And that one there. Uh, no, what the hell am I even... What, what am I doing? That's not how we do this. That is not how we do this! This is Sparta! No, I'm, I'm kidding. This is definitely not Sparta. I wouldn't really know what to do if this was Sparta. To be honest, I, uh... I don't think I would fare very well as a Spartan. Uh, women typically didn't. So, um, let's see here. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I don't really see the harm in it. We'll just do it. We'll just do it. What the hell? You know what? Maybe we'll even get... Maybe. Just maybe we'll get a little bit creative and we'll go ahead and add in a balcony if it'll let me I, I honestly don't even uh it won't let me put it over the pathway because because that makes total sense right I mean it's not like the people couldn't walk underneath that they totally could walk underneath it oh that sucks that sucks so bad okay well, there's... well, no, I don't really need... I don't really need a balcony, so we'll just skip the balcony idea. I thought maybe if the people could walk through there or whatever, that would be cool, but indeed they cannot, so it's not worth it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I can't really get that to fit in there properly, so ignore me. Let's just go ahead and finish this roof. Spin it around and go ahead and pop that in there. And then we just need our uh, rooftop piece. And a window. And there we have it. We have our bathroom, which looks... I don't know if it looks like a bathroom, but it's that's definitely what it is. So, uh, so yeah. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of those two pieces and put in... Uh, where is it? There it is. Go ahead and do like what we did on, on the other one. At the entrance. Okay. Yeah. We can definitely do that. Um, yeah, that, that's fine. We'll just we'll just go with that, I think. And have we opened up these toilets? Yes, we have. People can go to the bathroom. They're not they're not going to the loo in their pants here. <laughs> Into the loo. I'm I'm not Australian. Uh, I've never even been to Australia, so I don't know why I'm really saying that, but indeed I did. Okay, so now that we've spent like two episodes building a toilet, um, let's go ahead and see about building a roller coaster. Or, or I think actually what we should do, 
uh, is kind of finish up this area, and then we'll proceed to build a roller coaster. But there's no real reason to leave this unfinished. Right? Right? Okay, so... Go ahead and put that down, put down a couple of pathways. Uh, yeah, I, I think that looks pretty good. Generally speaking... I can't think of too much more I could really do with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and be, be happy about it. Okay. We'll put in trees and stuff later. I think, I think now is actually the time to build a roller coaster over here. So let's go ahead. And I think I want to build the kind of like standard type steel roller coaster. I think it's, yeah, it's the looping roller coaster. I think that's what I want to build. But as soon as I click build, then we will be locked into it for the most part. So let's go ahead and have it go that way. We'll take this up. Let's see. Um, one okay that's that's on the that's on the ground one click up two three clicks four clicks i think i want to do four clicks i'll build the station we'll go ahead and put it on test and we'll go ahead and select how many cars we want to have in the train Six is not too bad, maybe seven. Seven's not bad. We'll go with seven, I think, and we'll just one more spot there, and we'll just have it go down here. Okay, so it'll go down, and then it'll curve around. where it will then, at that point, um, we just kind of screwed up the train, but that's okay. At that point, then it'll go up the, ch the chain hill. Can that go straight up? Can go straight up. Huh. Alright, let's go ahead and back this up a little. And there we go. Although, that, that really is steep, isn't it? Is that really how I want to do it? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh boy. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy steep. Okay, I think we'll go with it. I kind of like that it's like super insane. Alright. And then we'll just go ahead and like do a steep little drop here. A steep little drop. No, more like a really gnarly drop. I mean, truly. And then it'll kind of come up and do a loop. I want it to have the right speed. Wow, that is a really fast loop. Go up a little bit higher, and then do the loop. Excellent. So it goes up to about, oh, just shy of 200 feet, which is not bad. Alright, and then it'll come out of the loop, and you can go up like so. Well, how to actually... No, not yet, because we're gonna go we're gonna go back up higher and we're gonna do a half loop. We're gonna do a cobra roll as uh, as it's called. Huh. 
However, uh, we need to back up a little because I've noticed I've done something wrong. And that's this loop is going the wrong way. So that's better. That's how I want it to be. And then we'll go back up. Do the half loop. Although that's a little too far, so do the half loop there. Do the corkscrew. And the half loop on this side. down. I kind of want this to like mirror itself. I think that would be kind of cool. And then there's a loop. Although the one thing I don't like is that all of this is done like way up and above, above the ground. But it's not the worst. Okay, so then it's going to come down and we'll go up deep like so and throw in like a some air time here. about maybe doing a banked curve that's going to kind of come around this lift hill. Okay, we have to go out a little bit further first. Wow, it is going really fast. Okay, we need to make this hill a little bit bigger. Then we need to go up a little bit higher, and then we can do our our turn. Um, overbanked curve with with what? I'm not real sure. <laughs> overbanked curve with gentle slope. Interesting. How could I do one here? Oh, I could do one here. Oh, that's really cool. I really like that. Okay. And then going down a little bit, level off. Maybe do another loop. We'll do another loop. There's no reason not to. And we still have plenty of money, so let's see how this does. Goes through the cobra roll. Uh, Alright. Comes down, does this loop. And then it comes screaming down here, pops up and over that, giving you some good airtime out of your seat, into the overbanked curve, into the other loop. And then a corkscrew, maybe, maybe, maybe over the a corkscrew over the track could be cool. Hmm. Let's see. So, what if we did? Go ahead and level that off, and then that's a barrel roll. I don't want to do a barrel roll. Of 
go ahead and curve this a little. Straighten it out. Kind of do like an S-bend kind of thing. Oh, we want to go straight one more. And then we'll curve it. And then what I'm trying to, th I think what I want is to have a corkscrew go over the pathway. And it doesn't want to do that. Unless, of course, we simply go ahead and do that. Uh, and that? Okay. That's no big deal. Hell yeah. Hopefully that won't interfere too much with the boats. I really hope it won't. Go ahead and do a little curve here. And yeah, an overbank one should be fine. Uh, we need to go straight a little bit more though. And perhaps get rid of a little bit of pathway to make this work. We'll fix the pathways once we're done. And hopefully it won't be too bad. Wow, it goes really fast through those corkscrews. That's insane. Okay, here's what I want to do. I think I want to go up a little bit higher here first. I think that's definitely beneficial. So we want to go, we want to go there. Hmm. Just trying to think of the best way to do it. Maybe that's a pretty decent way to do it. Although it might be going too fast. We'll have to wait and see. Let's see it come around. Let's see it do all this sort of stuff. Into the, f into the loop, comes ar snaking around through there, into the corkscrew. Oh, that's actually the perfect speed. Oh yeah, I like this. Okay. And then we'll have it level out. And this is probably just going to come right straight back into the station. There's no real re need. Uh, if I can talk <laughs> properly, there's no real need to do anything too crazy. Um, although, it might be kind of difficult to go underneath there and still leave room for pathway. So, for now, we'll just kind of move it away from that area. Yeah, so hopefully we can actually get this to fit. And, of course, we cannot get it to fit. Yeah, that's... That, that's unfortunate. So we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go up. I'm trying to see what's the best way to do it, though. Um. Okay, I'm starting to think I don't really want that to be curved or banked at all. Because then I can just kind of do like a one like that, sort of. Although that's not really what I'm going for. It's close. Okay, and then somehow we have to get this to meet there. Although I don't think it's ready to. So maybe we'll go do like a, a helix or something. And, oh, it's intersecting with the track. Okay. So what if we did a helix? Uh, yeah, I was afraid that it wouldn't fit. 
Okay, that doesn't fit either. Okay, we'll just put in another overbanked curve then, I suppose. And yeah, that's gonna come around nicely. We want it to be at 15.5, so we'll just go down a little bit and level off there. Oh, no, that's too far down. Okay, so we'll just level it off there then, I think. Whoops, that doesn't seem to be working for me. There it is. Okay. And then we kind of needed to, like, surgically kind of maneuver its way through here. I don't know if that's really going to work. Hopefully it will. Might have to go up a little bit. And no, that's not really going to work. Hmm. Okay, so... We're gonna have to be a little bit creative. I'm not too sure how to do this. Aha! Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. And we could actually put a uh, a break run up here. I think that's a perfect idea. And there we go. We'll just have to um move our station a little bit, but that's all. There we have it! We have our roller coaster! Let's go ahead and watch it go around. And going up the steep hill. Click, 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 click. And down it goes. Man. All right, and then it charges up there, does the loop. Comes around here into the cobra roll. Out of the cobra roll. Into the loop. Down and over the hill with massive air time and into the overbanked curve, which feeds into another loop, which goes into a banked S-curve, which feeds into two high-speed corkscrews into this weird kind of curve here, up the elevated or inclined S-bend, overbanked curve, and around into the station. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I love it. I love it. Ooh, what to name it, what to name it. Well, I think we will name it in a future episode. Let's just go ahead and build our, our queue. Um, actually, that's not really what I want to do at all, is it? Because if there's no gap, like, between the pathway, then... So, let's see. I want to actually level out here, and then go down here. And then, I want to go up, and... Sort of do it like... Like that. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and connect our our exit. Oh, and I also just wanted to let you guys know, I do plan to like go through and ride every single ride um at the end of the season. So once the park is done and and it's all finished, we then we'll go ahead and um the last episode 
to cap off the season, we will just be riding every ride in the park. I feel like that's probably the best way to, um, to end the season. So that's definitely something to look forward to in the future when we're all done. All right. So we've got our pathways linked up. We can go ahead and name the ride. I've been thinking about it for the past minute or two here, and I want to name this ride Sidewinder. I know it's another cliche name. I know you're, I'm killing you, aren't I? I'm killing you with these names. It's killing you. Uh, if you have better names for me, please feel free and let me know, and maybe I'll use them in the future for, uh, for future seasons and future parks. Or maybe even this one, if you comment soon enough. Uh, or if you find this video quick enough. Let's go ahead and give it like a uh, an orangish color. And a black color. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. If I came into the park, I'd be like, I want to ride whatever that is. Alright, so let's go ahead and color our cars. Maybe like a green and maybe a, a greenish purple color like that. I think that looks pretty good. All right. So uh, in the next episode, when we come back, we'll go ahead and we'll kind of finish up doing all the little things, building the station house, doing all that, and we'll go ahead and give it a ride. So if you want to ride this ride, you're definitely going to want to stick around to the next episode. All right. If you guys liked this video, please do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It helps me out so much. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, suggest names. That would be that would be fantastic. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks.